Yo, what up, what up? What's going on, everybody? Charles Macro jumping back in the fishing planet. Streaming, hollering at my folks, man. Hope everybody's doing well, man. Shout out to you and yours. Uh, peace, blessings, prayers up to you and your loved ones, man. Hope everybody is healthy, happy, uh, safe. Hope you've been keeping them tight lines, getting your gaming on and all that, man. How is everybody? Let's see, let's see. What's up, shrimp? What's up, Damien? What's up, EM? What's going on, Dent? What's up, Gerald? Yo, what's up, Kiki? Delta, what's good? What's good? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How you been? Yo, hope all is well, man. And shout out to you if you are jumping in watching this later, man. Thank you to everybody who comes back through and watches the stream. If you can't be here for the streams, y'all always come back through and support and show love, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So, yeah, this is going to be a good little stream. It won't be super long. I just wanted to jump in because I hadn't been able to stream in a minute. And um, just holler at everybody, man. Hope everybody is good, man. Um, In our last stream, we did this Labrax hunt with the spoon lure. I'm at Quanchkin trying to catch this white bass 221. Any of y'all, if y'all in here right now, man, tell me a spot to catch this. I still haven't caught this. I've been going after this one um, in between, and I still haven't caught them. So I'm going to try a couple times, and I'm going to just probably go to another lake, catch a few fish. Just wanted to holler at y'all and chop it up with y'all, man. Just see how everybody is doing, man. In the next one, I'll probably do a longer stream, and we'll fish for a while. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I hope I can get back on more than once this weekend. But yeah, man, hope everybody is well. I <laughs> said we the same level, Damien. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, you on a good level. I need to get to 75. I hadn't been grinding at um at the Amazon. The Amazon is my highest lake, as you know. So normally I'll be grinding at the Amazon trying to get them shocks, catch them shocks to get my level up. Up, oh, hold on. Yeah, had to get my controller is disconnected. But yeah, grinding them sharks to get my level up. Uh, shrimp, you say top of the map uh, where I am, use the crankbait or spoon or a walker. Okay, I got to use a spoon. Let me see. Right here or the one beside it? Should I stay right here where I'm at or go to this one to the left? Left or right? Right is where I'm at. Left is the other spot. Because yeah, I've been using different spoons. I need, this is the mission. I got to do it with a spoon. Um, I caught one, that marker right there is actually a white bass that I caught. It was 1.1 pounds. I caught a 2.2 pounder, which is a trophy. I actually caught one with a spoon, but it was like 2.1 something. It was right under. I've caught one big enough, but it wasn't with a spoon. So I ain't get credit for it. And I'm trying to finish this doggone mission. Uh, stay where you are, cash to your right next to the tree. Okay. All right, all right. Not through that marsh, though, because I'm pretty sure I get hung up. So cash right over here. All right, let's do it. I think that's, is that my area for the gar? Maybe it's not. All right, I'm going to try this casting spoon, and then I'm going to switch it up because I caught one with a narrow spoon. And that was a pretty good catch. So we're going to see what we do with that. But yeah, man, again, hope everybody's well, man. How y'all been? How life been treating you, man? What's been going on? Anybody been doing any real life fishing? Anybody been leveling up, getting to some new lakes? Like, what's been going on with you? Uh-oh, there we go. We got a hit. We got a hit. Oh, I'll show y'all real quick what I'm using because I had to pull out my, uh, my lightweight setup. This is one of my early setups right here. That's a nice bass. Nice bass. Had to pull out my uh my Aurora 8-2. 3 to 10. I got my 11 pound of Lyra Slim. I actually got the reel a little bit overweighted. You ain't supposed to do that, but you can get away with it. You can get away with it. And then my line is a 12 pound line. So I'm actually doing it all wrong. My rod is 10 pound max. My reel is 11, max drag, and then my line is 12. But you can make your line be more than your reel or your ride. But you normally want to keep your reel under. But hey, we break the rules sometimes. You know the rules so you can break them, right? You know the rules so you can break them. 
Uh, okay, straight ahead. Uh, what LB? Uh, what net do I have? What keep net? Uh, it is the Garrison XL thirteen hundred. It's a big boy, thirteen hundo. Hey, <laughs> Evelina, what's going on? Hello, hello, how are you? What's up, AK? How you doing though? Yeah, I got this keep net right here. That thirteen hundred. It's one of the top ones. It's a very high level keep net. Uh, also, you know, fishing plan is on iPhone. It's also coming to Android. Okay, I'm waiting on the Android. I'm an Android. And oh, fish! I saw the fish biting right there. I'm an Android head. Oh, come on, that's trash. I'm an Android head. I had iPhones back when they first came out. I had the early joints. But yeah, I'm a, I'm an Android guy. So I'm waiting on the Android, man. But have any of y'all played Fishing Planet? Hey, why my thing ain't reeling in? Is it stuck? What's going on? It's not reeling in. There we go. There we go. I actually kept some of that um, just to get a one of the, the missions or whatever. But hey, have any of you guys played on the Android, or excuse me, the Apple uh, iPhone yet? <laughs> on the iPhone or iOS. Have y'all played Fishing Planet iOS yet? How do you like it? If you don't know, Fishing Planet is on iOS, but there is no sync. There is no linking from what I heard. I hope one day the devs can sync it all across all platforms. Then I can play with everybody, man. We all can rock together if they had cross-platform or even if they just had a sync ability, kind of like they did with GTA when you could sync all your, your data when you went up to you know uh, the next generation or whatever. They really should do that. Uh, let's see. Finally getting warm enough for some real fishing. Hey, I know that's right. I know that's right. Jared said, you went fishing yesterday, got a 10-pound bowfin and a 4-pound largemouth bass. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. Part of the reason I didn't stream uh, last week was because I went with the family, uh, went down uh, to the beach, and I thought I was going to get to fish down there. Took the rides and everything, was going to fish. Um, we all like to fish. My my nephew, my sister, uh, we all like to fish. Like I said, my grandfather used to uh, take us fishing and take me fishing a lot when I was young. And um, so, yeah. Went, had the rise and everything, and then um, the weather was really bad. The weather was really bad. I was going to fish off the pier in the ocean, and they was like, they hadn't had anybody catch anything in about three or four days, and it was true, you know. Um, even when my peeps tried, nothing happened. So, yeah, I didn't get to fish like I wanted to. Wanted to go to a lake or something and try, but it, it just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. But yeah, all is well, all is well. Hey, shout out to Drive By Joe. Been an elite legend member for nine months. Hold up, hold up, they reset me. Oh man. Well, Joe, it still says, uh, it still says nine months on my end. So maybe it says one month, but you still got nine months logged in, man. So thank you, bro. Thank you. We almost uh we're almost at a year. We've almost reached a year, man. Shout out. To Joe, shout out to everybody who supports, man, all of y'all. But thank you to my members, my Patreons. Really, really appreciate that. People that super chat, man, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Uh, That's a 10-pound both in and a 4-pound large, my bad. GB, those are some big ones, man. You be reeling them in like on the game. Or in the game, you be reeling them in like real life, right? You be reeling them in like real life. That's what's up, man. Agent said you played on iOS. Okay, how you like it, AK? GB say you waiting on the Android. Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, uh, hey, what's up, Bob? What's up, Big Bob? What's going on? What's going on? How you doing? Hey, what's up, LG? Hey, how you doing, man? How's everybody doing, man? Appreciate y'all stopping through and hollering at your boy, man. Hollering at your peoples. Yeah, like I said, I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Uh, but yeah, that app. I like being gone all last week and where I was staying, they didn't have good internet because I thought about trying to stream. What I was going to do for you guys when I went fishing, I was going to either stream or at least take some video and show me catching something, even if it was a little booger. You know, it was a little booger, a little guppy or something. You know, I was going to I was going to show that. But uh, yeah, wasn't able to catch anything. Let me change. I mean, I uh, wasn't able to to fish. Yeah. Or nothing was really biting. And um. Again, the days I really wanted to go to a pond or a lake, it, it didn't happen. But yeah, yeah. We need to catch this white bass. This white bass has been eluding me. 
Okay, yes, yeah, correct. Now, hey, appreciate that, Joe. Shout out to DBJ Drive by Joe. Really appreciate that, man. Twenty dollars on the super chat, man. Appreciate that, Joe. It should pop up any second now. Yeah, man. How you been doing, Joe? What's been going on with you, man? How the little one, man? Hey, our little ones got to get up, man. When I come up that way, I have my son with me, man. We gonna, they're going to have to get up and play. For real. I think she's a little bit older than he is. But, uh, you know, he wilding now. He, he and them terrible twos, boy, so he wilding. He is wilding. Uh, so they're going to pop in here and show you where to get this base. Hey, appreciate that, Gerald. Gerald going to pop in and show me where to get this base. And if you are watching, and again, if you're watching later, this is what we do with the streams. I'm, I'm going to get back and do more streams. But we come through, man, and everybody helps, man. I get so much love from all my people, man. And then they'll come through and help me find fish that I may not have been able to find myself. I know where a lot of them are now. Uh, I catch a lot of them. But, you know, sometimes you're trying to find those specific ones you haven't really targeted, man. So it's good to have the pros with you. Good to have the pros with you, man. We got some pro anglers. For real, for real. Let me see what this, uh, let me see what my markers are right there that I'm facing. Because I don't think this the gar spot. Oh, this is, no, the gar spot down there. But I guess I can reach the gar spot even from this angle. Ah, I've never fished the gar spot from right here. I'm usually over that way. Over that little spot where that guy is standing. No, this is the gar spot. This is where I'm always standing for the gar spot. I'm tripping. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Let me see if I can catch a gar with this bait and it break my line because this is a very light setup. And y'all know them guards get nasty. They get nasty. Hey, glad to hear that, Joe. Glad to hear that, man. I say things are, are well on my end as well, man. Even though, I don't know if you know, the last stream, man, my pops was going through a few things. I had, I've been going back and forth. That was another thing, too. Had to uh, go up there and see about my pops. Um, he was going through some stuff with his kidneys and uh, had to go to the hospital. Then he had to go back after he came home. So, you know, we've been trying to stay on him. You know how it is. Oh, I don't know if y'all know, but when, you're, when your parents, if you still had your parents, sometimes if they old country men like my father, my grandfather, they be a little stubborn. They be a little stubborn sometimes. They don't like fooling with the doctors and stuff. So I've been dealing with that with my pops, man. He getting old and he getting stubborn. Uh, let's see, the narrow spoon, one for, okay. Uh, let's see, now I gotta find where the marker is. Let's see. Cause I caught one with that narrow spoon too right there. Is that it, GB? I think that's it right there, GB. Okay, I'ma move to this other spot right beside. Uh, I believe it was right here where you sent this one to me. <clears throat> Let's look here. Let's look here. Is that it? That's that buffalo. I caught one right there, too, with the casting spoon. It was 1.7. I must have went the wrong way. Yeah, I went the wrong way. They need to do better with this map, man. This joint can be confusing. The map is like almost opposite or not relative properly as it should be. Uh, okay. Is it right there? Okay, so he caught him right there. All right, what's up, dude? All right, there's GB. <laughs> Look at GB with the funky hat. Is that a uh, St. Patty's Day hat, G? Uh, Joe said, internet acting up. All right, Joe, talk with you later, man. Appreciate that, man. Yeah. Uh, praying, you know, he's okay. And uh, he does what he's supposed to do. Again, pops be a little stubborn, man. You know, trying to keep that diet and change up. You know how that is, man. But yeah, man, hopefully everything will be well, man. Appreciate it, man. Keep him in your prayers, man. Keep him in your prayers and me as well. All right, you take it easy, Joe, man. And again, appreciate you, man. Have a good one. Prayers up, peace and blessings. What's up, sleep? Yeah, you hadn't missed anything. You hadn't missed anything. 
All is well. All is well. We just getting started. Just going to do a little bit of fishing, guys. I ain't, I ain't going to be on here super long. But again, just wanted to highlight at everybody, man. Show my face a little bit. See how y'all were doing. And he said, we'll get back on, do a longer one on the later on, on the later on. I was actually about to jump on last night, but I wasn't able to. Uh, right when I was about to stream, some things came up. Uh, let's see, what's my weather pattern? Oh, yeah, you know what? I ain't even looked at it. Uh, this is my weather pattern right here. Let's see, is this day two? Okay, yeah. Overcast, 69, 73, 69 to 75 on that temperature. Uh, let's see, you can click the compass to make it change. Said I can click the compass to make it change. Where is that at? Let's see, on this map. Ah, I did not know you could do that. Man, you learn something new every day. You learn something new every day. Can I rotate it? Can I rotate it? Okay, that helps a little bit. Appreciate that, G. Appreciate that, G. Hey, what's up, Zang? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How things been with you? Yeah, he said he don't see any other bitch talking. <laughs> People are funny in the chat. Not the stream chat, the uh the fishing planet chat. <laughs> What's up, Zang? How you been? What's been going on? What's been going on? Hey, Jake. What's up? What's up? How you doing, man? Appreciate you stopping through. Uh, do I have a sh let's see. I have a narrower spoon, but it's light. My setup ain't that light. It might not cast it as far, but we're going to try it anyway. We're going to see if this one will reach. Okay, yeah, it'll reach exactly to the spot. Yeah, what's up, Jake? What's going on? Yo, I know some of y'all saw that I've been playing or I've been dropping content on another game. I actually have been playing it for a while and just recording the content, and then I just started editing it and putting it out. And so, um, and just kind of scheduling it. But uh, my man Jake was telling me about this other game. That's kind of like a survival simulator space type joint. And uh, my man Jake's turning me on to this other one that I may play as well. It's like a, a base. What do you call it? You get base attacks and things of that nature. You got to defend, so base defense, but it's still survival and all of that, man. <laughs> Jake said, you don't like fishing. Hey, I understand. It's all good. You know, I got a little bit of variety. I've always been kind of a variety guy. I play a lot of different types of games. But, yeah, Jake, hey, you got to let me know. Um, I did join that Discord, but I didn't know if I needed to holler at the dev or, you know, what. But, yeah, let me know uh, what I should do. Okay, it's base and waves of robots. Uh, it looked interesting. Like, what I saw looked really cool. I can't wait to give it a uh, give it a little run, put it through its paces. Okay, that's what's up. You say it's nice, Dev. Yeah, man, I'm looking forward to uh, like I said, to giving it a go, as they say. Give it a go. Uh, all right, all right, all right. We ain't getting too much of nothing. I'm going to try, I know that roach spoon is too big. I was about to try that roach spoon. Let's see if this X-Series. Okay, it's too heavy. Too heavy. Let me try this trophy one. All right. Uh, let's see, you asked. Okay, he's at PAX. Okay, uh, the public likes the game over there. Nice, nice. Man, I um on my channel, I got some footage from when I used to go to some conferences. I went to like the East Coast Game Conference. It's down, uh, in, it's in North Carolina. They usually have it in Raleigh. PAX was one of the things I wanted to do. I had hoped, like I had it on my bucket list to go to PAX. Um, you know, then the 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 world crisis hit. 
But yeah, even before that, man, my goal is to get the packs. I'm going to still get the packs one of these days, as long as they keep it public and, you know, they don't shut it down and make it all digital or whatever. I do plan to go to packs and get some, uh, get some content or get some footage from there, man. I think that's dope. That's just like a gamer's dream. Uh, let's see. Check out Hostile Mars. Hostile Mars. Yeah, thanks, Jake. I am not getting any bites. Let me see if I cast a little closer to the tree. Let's see, Gerald, you still in here? Probably jumped all in front. Where you at, GB? It might be too close. Yeah, I want to catch something, so I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go. I might leave here and just try another lake. I just want to catch a couple of somethings while we on stream. Okay, you're at the catfish spot. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, I've been having no luck with this fish. I might fast forward, go to a different time or something. You would think this was the good time frame to catch them, though. Yeah, you would think this was a good time frame. Um, I would do the walker or even a jig. But, again, I will not meet the requirements. Let me go back to this casting spoon. I did catch one on this casting spoon. All right, we're going to try that. I see somebody catching a gar. Catching them gar. Oh, yeah, it's all good, Jake. It's all good. So, yeah, what's everybody doing for the weekend? Any weekend plans? Any fishing? Uh, let me slow down my real speed a bit. My real speed was a little too much. Anybody fishing? Anybody uh partying? Just chilling, family time. Like, what's going on? Are y'all on that iOS fishing planet? Yeah, do fighting with that gar. Those gar put up a fight. GB say you'll be fishing and riding a dirt bike with the kiddos. Nice. Nice. One of my cousins had a dirt bike when I was coming up, but I was too young to ride it. It was one of them big joints. I never got to ride one of the little ones, you know, the little dirt bikes. And one of my guys who had a lot of land, they owned the chain of restaurants uh, down here. So they had a whole lot of land. We used to go ride four-wheelers and, uh, you know, all around they property. That's something I hope I can do with my son when he get a little bigger. I get him a little ATV or something. Well, he got a little ATV right now, but it's one of them little Power Wheels joints. GB, I ain't catching nothing. Nothing, nothing. I might just have to catch some gar just to feel like I'm catching something. Hey, that's what we'll do. I ain't fooling with these white bass no more. I'm going to set up. We're going to pull out. I mean, I'm going to still cast, but we're going to pull out the stand. We're going to catch us some gar while we sitting here. Uh, let's see. Hope y'all's week was okay. You managed to jump under a cold shower for the first time in years. That was sick. Hey, <laughs> wow. Had to do the cold shower. The cool shower. Let's see. We got some large cut bait. Let me throw large minnow on here. We gonna catch us some gar real quick. That way we say we caught something good while we was here. 
the chores and yard work with some IPAs. I heard that. I heard that. Oh, I got a little hook on here. I got to change my hook. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to see what hook do I got on this. I was fishing for some smaller fish. Okay, that still got the 10 knot on it. All right, cool. Yeah, I was fishing for some uh, smaller fish, so I took off my big boy hooks. There we go. Going to throw these minnows on here while I'm here. Blam. Let's get it. Let's see. EM is working. Good luck with that, mate. <laughs> right. He's getting his work on. So I'm a la casadora. Did I catch me a few gar? Before I call it a day. All right, we throwing this casting spoon back out here. Yeah, this white bass is eluding me. There have been a few fish that It'll be one fish, and I'm trying to finish the challenge, and they just will not comply. Just will not catch them. And then eventually, it'll take forever, but I will catch them. It was sort of like that with some of those challenges for the monsters. It was a few of them monsters, man, like that Maku Maku. I still haven't went back to do that one. Was it Maku Maku? Yeah. The fish you got to catch for that monster, man, that's just a headache. That is a headache. I ain't even went back to get any of those prelim fish at all. All right, Gar, where you at? I might have to do a reset or something. Every now and then, if you fishing and you don't catch anything in places you know you're supposed to catch them, sometimes it's good to quit out the game. Either quit out or fast forward the time. I'm going to give this a moment to see if um a guard jump on, but yeah, I should be getting some hits. Like, I'm not even catching any regular bass. Hey, GB got a guard. Nice. Uh, say, have I seen anything from that new medieval version they made after Trader Life Simulator? No, I need to check. I haven't looked into them because it had been a while since they did any like major updates. They had changed the city on the game, but no, nah, I haven't seen anything on that. But yeah, I need to go look and see if anything new has um, arised. Evil, say that's what the IPAs are for. <laughs> huh. Yeah, nothing is biting. This ain't a good sign. Yo, one way. <laughs> What's going on? It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah. How you been? How you been? What's good, my man? What's good with you? Oh, what's up, Kenzie? What's going on? Yeah, how you been? How you been? Yo. It has been a minute, man. How have you been? How life been treating you? Uh, said so it could still be generous with keys. Okay. Hey, I check into it. I check into it. Yeah, I like the new name, man. That, that was a pretty good, good choice. That was a pretty good choice. Uh, Joe, say so you fishing at Emerald Lake with the spoon, catching walleye every two to five minutes. Are you doing anything wrong? Um, the if if you're not catching them, like I used to be able to catch walleye pretty much every cast 
every other at at minimum. I would say if you're fishing with your spoon and using your narrow spoon, just don't fish in the exact same spot every time. Bounce around. So like fish to the big tree in the center, then move to the left just a little bit. Then move to the right just a little bit. Actually move around uh, when you when you are fishing. That should help. Yeah, if you do the exact same spot every time, sometimes it'll be, you know, infrequent. But usually, if you, as long as you use a narrow spoon, you'll usually catch them almost every cast, like very regularly. Also, make sure you stop and going. And real speed three. You can do real speed two. A lot of people do either two or three. I like three, but just try both ways, real speed two and real speed three, and uh, see which one you get better luck with. But if I remember correctly, three always worked the best for me. Hey, come on, J. <laughs> G, come on, G. What's up, man? How you going to be catching the white bass like that, man? How you going to be catching it? You know, I'm sitting here. I can't catch it, man. Hey, what are you using? Uh, what did you fish with, man? What did you use to catch it? GB done caught the uh the white bass that quick. It's a pro angler, man. This dude is a pro angler. One way say he can say you uh catching bull sharks. Okay. Yeah, I gotta come back out there uh myself. Get back out there in the shark area. Let's see, GB sharing a marker. And it's the two pounder. We using the same thing. What? What? Let's see, am I fishing in the wrong place? That's my gar. That's the Tam Big Q or whatever that is. Rowdy bass, large mouth. Now I gotta find that marker, G. Okay, right there. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. So I got a cast over. Hold on, one, two. Let me make sure this is the right one. Got those two right there. The one behind it. And then the one way over there. Okay. The two right there, one behind it. And then I'm, I guess it's this one right here. I think is out there. Yeah, I got close to it. I can't reach that far. Hey, CT, what's up? What's up, Antoine? What's good? What's good? How goes it? How goes it? Hey, the stream's been going well, man. It's been a good one. So far, so good. Ken say you max drag. Okay, catching bull sharks. Nice. Uh, say so that strange sniping. <laughs> right. <laughs> Gonna get this monster today, GB. That's what's up. That is what's up. Whoa, Ken say you've been fighting it for 20 minutes. Woo. Yo. Hey, don't let him get you. You gotta get him. Jake, say later, short game before you go to sleep, 11 p.m. there. All right. Hey, take it easy, Jake. Glad you stopped through, man. Got to check out some fishing with us, man. But, yeah, I'll see you later, man. I got some more coming from uh from the Planet Crafter and probably some more, a few other things. And, again, I'll let you know as well when I get that key, man. We'll check out the new game, man. But, yeah, take it easy. Get you some rest. Have a good day. Peace blessings. Talk to you on the later on. Hey, Twan, say you doing uh, good fishing at Emerald. Nice. Nice. Uh, somebody was just asking about uh, Emerald and catching the walleye. Uh, let's see. Wolf, what's up, Wolf? Uh, going to stop by to say hello. Currently call with your grandma. Okay. I uh, hope you still be streaming when you get home. I may not be. I'm going to tell you, um, I was only going to stream for it. A short one, so I'll probably be wrapping it up here in a little bit. But if I don't get back on later, I'm gonna try to stream tomorrow, tomorrow and or Sunday. Let me see if I can get another one in this weekend, man. Last week I was gone a bit, 
and you know some family stuff. And so yes, to get back on here and stream. But I just wanted to jump on and holler at everybody, man. That was just the main thing, man. See how y'all were doing. See how y'all were doing. Hey, Poncho, what up, what up? What's going on? How goes it? What's up with you? Ponchos. Jerry say, okay, cast slightly to the right. Okay. Hey, good, good. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. I'm out here trying to catch this white bass. I've been trying for a couple episodes. Why haven't I caught any gar? Now, that's strange. I hadn't caught any gar. They haven't even bit. Yeah, the guard's supposed to be automatic. The guard is supposed to be automatic. I don't know what's really going on right now. Sometimes the game act funny, man. Sometimes the game act real funny. Again, sometimes you got to just quit out of the game or fast forward or go to another day, and it, like, resets the fish. If they're not biting, that happens quite a bit. All right, bro. Say have a good rest of your day or night. Peace. All right, Kenzie. Take it easy. Check with you later. <laughs> the guard know they have no chance if I hook them. Hey, I know that's right. <sighs> hey, good to see you, Ken, man. Stop through. Stop through on the later on. Poncho say you're going back and forth with the Sturgeon spots. Nice, nice. Yeah, man. This game be tripping sometimes. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Like, I am I really hadn't even been catching any regular bass. Normally, like this, I'd be catching even regular spotted bass. But nothing is happening right now. And you know this gar spot, like, they bite like crazy. Let me do this before I, before I tap out. I'm going to switch spots real quick. Let me see. We'll jump to this spot. And then I'm going to jump back to that spot. And then we're going to go to, no, I don't want to leave. We're going to go to another day. We're going to go to day three. This got a good, it looked like it got a good bite ratio, bite radius. And fat cat trying to get my spot. Uh, fish at the evening peak. Uh-oh. <laughs> I moved too fast, Gerald. I moved too fast. But look, if if nothing bites again here, if nothing hits, then I'll do that. I'll go to that evening peak. I'm going to definitely know something up. If I don't catch no gar, we know something up. Like, they tripping. And I'm going to have to uh call it on that one. I got to catch something. Got to catch something. I mean, I guess I could go down to a eight or a six, but I usually catch them even with ten. Let's see. What I do on this one, I'm going to knock the hook size down. I shouldn't even have to do that, but I'm going to knock the hook size down. Uh, I'm going to go to this barbless six. Something better bite. The monster fish at the Everglades be goofy. <laughs> yeah, it took a while to catch that. When I did it on stream, it either took like two streams or like a couple game days. Like it was acting real goofy, <laughs> real goofy. All right, let's see if we can. Up oh, there we go. Now you see how quickly that bit. I had to go to another day. You see how quickly that thing bit. 
Normally, I have two and three of these joints on the hook at the same time. Let's go. Get us a cigar in here. Let's go. We got to catch something. Let's see. Playing with your bassy bait. Nice. Nice. Come on in here, Gar. Come on in here, Gar. Oh, yeah. He putting that stress on my line. There we go. Come on in. Come on in. Let me let him go. Let me, I'm going to just let him go. I like to just reel, but I'm going to let him go. All right. There we go. Now, you see that? Look, we got multiples on the line now. We sat there for like 10, 15 minutes and nothing was biting. Yo, these guards, they be fighting. They put up some real fight. Come on in, man. I'm trying to catch you and your and your cousin. Come on in. Oh, come on. He's tripping. Let's go, man. Let's go, Gar. Let me turn down that beat. There we go. Got him. Bang. Oh, a trophy out the gate. Nice. I will take that. I will take that. Ah, uh, I lost that guy. I lost that guy. Oh, well. You might win some, but I just lost one. All right, now I'm going to see, since the bites look like they're reset, maybe I catch this white bass or something because they've been playing. Damien caught a trophy bull shark. Hey, nice, nice, nice. I got to put some sound effects on here so when y'all catch them big boy fish, I can just beep, beep, beep. Just hit off a crazy sound effect. I, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. That's what's up, Damien. Nice catch. Nice catch. Yo, them trophy, them trophy sharks, that's some good XP, some good money. That gets you leveling up. Say at Emerald Lake, should you use a bob bobber setup or a bottom setup with minnows? Mm. GB, what you think? At Emerald Lake, bobber setup or bottom setup with minnows? What, what do you prefer, man? I mainly, I still like to do, uh, I do both, honestly. If you have both, say you you only got like a two-ride stand, I would throw one out of each. I like doing the um, bottom rides, honestly, just because the bottom ride got a bell, you know? And so it's kind of easier to monitor it. Instead of having to study your bobber. But if you're holding it in your hand, then, you know, you can turn on that ding and it'll bing. But, yeah, I prefer uh, the bottom ride, feeder ride, you know. But either will work. Either will work. Antoine used bottom. Okay. Uh, Sorry, sister. Just got here. You heard your name, but not the question. Oh, I was saying... uh. My man Joe said at Emerald Lake should he use a bobber setup or a bottom setup with minnows. I said I personally prefer using the bottom setup. Um, I still mainly real fish. I still mainly spin fish because you catch a lot of them spin fishing with that narrow spoon. But yeah, I prefer the bottom setup. Okay, yeah, GB said bottom. Antoine said bottom. Yeah. Uh, let's see. A. Adley says, he's level 29. Where's the best place to farm XP? If you are level 29, guys, what's the best place to farm XP? What y'all think? What y'all think? Y'all let me know. Uh, with a bottom setup, you'll get more perch. Okay, GB said with a bottom setup, you'll get more perch. Okay, San Why? Oh, uh, Poncho, you said what lake is this? This is Quanchkin. Quanchkin is a good lake. Gar, good money. Gar are good money. Yo, what is this person doing? Hey, what you doing? You see how people be doing? Get out of here. Probably just spawned in. Don't even see me. But uh, yeah, San Juan, uh, if you are able to go to St. Croix and farm per, uh, pike, San Juan is really good. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah, San Juan is really good if you are at that level. I can't remember. 
uh, but you can farm pike. White moose, uh, farming trout at white moose. I'm trying to see what else. You could do sturgeon and uh, carp if you do go to San Juan. Up, up. We got one on. We got one on. Yeah, guys, it's looking like. There we go. Got us another gar. Ooh, making him jump out the water. Get out the water. Oh, he jumping and fighting. This might be another trophy. We call it a trophy. Okay, Sam. Oh, San Y is at 34. St. Croix is at 30. Oh, okay. So you can't go to either of those yet. Uh, I think you can go to White Moose, though. I would say do White Moose. Yeah, if you can do White Moose, that would be a good one uh, to farm. Because you can still catch some uni trouts. They're going to give you some fight now, but you can still catch those uni trouts. All right. Well, guys, this might be my sign right here that I need to go on and wrap. Hey, what's up, GTV? Say one month, been a trooper for over six to eight months. Yeah, AG, hey, it says seven months. When it popped up right here, it says seven months. I think YouTube might be glitching a little bit. So that, that might be why, because it did that for uh, my other man, too. And he's been nine months, and it gave him a message similarly. So, yeah, I think it's just wrong right now. But, yes, it does say right here that you have been seven months. So thank you, GTV. Shout out to GTV. Been a member for seven months. Elite Trooper. Appreciate that support as always. Thank you again to everybody who supports um, in any way, man. Even just being here at the streams, man. I really, really appreciate that. But special shout out to my members, to my Patreons, man. Everybody who's uh, showed that love and that support, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, what's up, Brock? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? Shout out to B-Rock. What's up, B-Rock? What's going on with you? Aldi said, you see, thanks. First time joining Fish and Planet Stream. Hey, well, look, appreciate you being here. Adley, you got to come back through. Come back through. Anytime you see the stream, come on through and holler. This is what we does, man. If you need any help, you got any questions in the stream, we always have some really great guys who can help. You know, I, of course, myself and any other, other pro bass anglers. Uh, we got Fish and Planet pros, and they some real-life pros too, man. So, yeah, come on through. Any questions you got, or you can drop them in the comments on the video or anything, man. Uh, will always help any way that I can. Yeah, how you been, Brock? What's up with you, man? How life been treating you, man? Uh, Brock said you haven't played for ages. What you been on, man? You been back on GTA or something like that? Ain't you like level 1,000 on GTA? Hey, Just Game, what's up? You at level 10 and you don't know a lot about fishing and my videos definitely helped a lot. Thanks. Hey, glad to know they help. Glad to know they help. Hey, just check them out. If you have any questions, of course, drop a comment. Come through the streams. But glad to know that the videos helped. Always, always love to hear that. Always love to hear that. Say so you're on GTA and Rust. Okay, that's what's up. Man, I had a, a key for Rust, like when Rust first came out, like early access Rust. The game was different. Like it didn't even look the same. The people and the griefing was the same, but yeah, they've like polished it up so much since back then. And I think I didn't even play it just because people were talking about, you know, the griefing and stuff like that. And I ain't have no, no clan and no click. So uh, since I ain't have a group, I was like, eh, I ain't finna get out here and get towed up. Every time I build something, somebody tear it down, you know? GTA. Man, the last time I logged into GTA on my PS, I got on for like five minutes and jumped off. I can't do my solo public lobbies, man. They be trying to patch it out. 
I can do it on PC, even though I hadn't played in a long time, but I did all my grinding on PC in the solo public lobbies. You know, people be griefing. I can't be making no run with a million worth of cargo, a hundred thousand worth of cargo, and somebody blow it up. That'll make me not want to play the game no more. That had me ticked off. I be trying not to break my controllers. These things get too expensive nowadays. <laughs> Shoot. PC has so many hackers. Oh, man. Now, that's the truth. That's the truth. If I, like I said, if I could survive, if I could hang out there without getting towed up, I would do more on the PlayStation or something like that, even though, you know, I'm basically starting with nothing. I only got the little free stuff that came, you know, with, when, I, for when I purchased it. But, yeah, PC got crazy hackers. I was playing one time, and somebody, like, set me on fire. And it was like firewood was in my body on GTA. So like a hacker set me on fire. I was running around, but it wasn't on, it wasn't on fire like when you really run through the fire and you'd be like, ah, oh, ah, oh, and it'd be burning you. My avatar, my dude was just on fire, but it was like a campfire. The wood and the flames were coming up through the campfire. And um, and then I had one where like they did it and they had me under the ground a little bit. So like half my body was through the floor. I seen a hacker do that. The other one a hacker did, which was kind of positive, but I could I had to get out the lobby. They was giving me money. Like I had a hacker, like my total of my money just started going up fast. Like thousand, thousand, thousand. It was going so fast. I had to jump out the lobby because they I wasn't trying to get my account banned. You know, they'll ban your account over little silly stuff. So yeah, I was like, no, I can't take this money. I can't take this money. On some other circumstances, I'd have liked to, but nah. I couldn't be receiving no hundred million and then they banned my account. But yeah, the hackers is crazy on GTA. Uh, Adley say, do you think at your level you should buy a boat or not? I mean, if you can afford it, it won't hurt. I would I would probably wait. Um, I didn't get a boat for a long time, but it wasn't a lot of boats available. The motorboats and all that wasn't out when I first started. It was really only the kayak. And then they started introducing the other boats. So hey, I was in my 40s before. Oh, nice. How you pull a catfish in over here, man? How far does your line toss? That's crazy. You must have a very heavy weight on there, G. So you throwing over there to the catfish, the, uh, the catfish spot. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, if you can afford it and it's not going to break your bank, then yeah, hey, go ahead and get a boat. Um, otherwise, I will wait, maybe get the motor boat. That's the, you know, the little tube boat, not the big time boat or just get a kayak. But again, hey, if you can afford it, do it, do it. Uh, let's see. Jared said you was killed by a monkey. <laughs> wow. Hey, it's a crip. Yeah, that's in the troll part of a mod when the campfire. Oh, okay. Yeah, I ain't know what was going on, man. I'm like, why is a campfire in my body? Like, what is going on, GTA? What is going on? Uh, Poncho, say, how long I play this game? Uh, if you just mean how long have I, like, been playing it in total? Psh, thousands of hours. I got a lot of hours in Fishing Planet. A lot of hours. I would have to look. I think the last time I looked, it said like 2,000 hours. But that's not a lot for a lot of the lot of the big time players. It's people that got way more hours than that. Way more hours than that. Um, but if you mean today, I, I actually was planning on getting off a minute a few minutes ago, but again, man, I love being on the stream with you guys, man. I have a great time. I just wanted to hop on and holler at everybody, man. Oh, let's see. You used to mod back on the PS3. Okay, nice, nice. GB say you got teleported to the top of a mountain and this monkey blew you up. <laughs> wow. Hey, Brock, now was you? Okay, on PS3. I was just about to say, were you mining on PC or uh, the console? But okay, I got you. 
Yeah, man. The modders get crazy, man. The modders get crazy. Like I said, the money one, I was more concerned about the money one than the other ones, just because I was like, nah, they, I ain't trying to ban my account. Yeah, this white bass is being very elusive, very elusive. Uh, say nah, PS3, uh, used to my GTA 5 and, okay, VO2. Um, oh, we got something on the line. Hey, I actually had, when I, when my channel was younger, a lot of the guys I came up with that I started out with, uh, one of my guys, he was from the UK, and he did a lot of VR and uh, augmented reality, but he also did a lot of modding with GTA and stuff like that. And so I did this song. Um, I got some songs, some music on my channel. You know, I made music. I used to do a lot of concerts and stuff like that back in the day. But anyway, I made a song, and he modded it and used the GTA mod to make a video for my song. It's on, is it on my channel? I think it's on his channel. I got to see if I can find it. Because you know what? I need to download it. He don't really do any content anymore. So before he take down his channel or, or the video be gone, I got to find that. But yeah, man, he made this video. I think it was for my Show Love shout out song. And he used the Mighty GTA. So he had me running around the city. And it had like my logo on the shirt. And then it had like posters on the wall and the graffiti. And yeah, it was for Show Love shout outs. Because I used to highlight channels. I had a segment that I did for a year or two where I would highlight channels. And um, and so some of the other channels, he also put their posters in a video. It was real cool, man. It was real cool. Uh, Dane, has anyone had the Monster Fish here yet? Just wondering if you should use 40 pounds. Uh, Want to maximize the XP thing. Uh, okay. I think somebody would get that. Uh, let's see, Adley, never know that Fishing Planet stream is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks, bro, for the information. Enjoy the stream so much. Hey, look, glad to hear that, glad to hear that. Again, we have a good time in the streams, like, for real, for real. Um, I tell you, some really, really great people come through and uh, support, man, and, and we, we have a ball. I ain't gonna lie, we have a ball in the streams. One stream, we was in here talking about cooking and, like, recipes and, you know, Ways is if you had your little friend or somebody coming over, you want to impress them or something, you know, you throw something, throw something on the stove, you know, rattle some pots a little bit. Maybe they'll rattle some pots for you. You know what I mean? But, you know, you want to impress them, get your chef boy RD on. We was in here talking about some of my favorite dishes because I've worked as a, like a chef or worked in restaurants, you know, before from when I was young, fast food, that's like rent or wording up. Uh, running the grill or things of that nature in some restaurants. So, I man, I got like a, a history <laughs> for our jobs and things of that nature that I've done. Warehouses, restaurants, you know, even now I work in tech, you know, I'm in the office, but I've done a little bit of everything, done a little bit of everything, man. Brock said, you going to play Fishing Planet? Hey, that's what's up, man. Go on and throw your line out there, man. Throw your line out there. Get on a bit. For real, for real. B-Rock. Evil say rattle your pots. <laughs> At first I heard it call that. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Look, get in there rattle them pots. For real, for real. Look, that's what you say. You know, you can say this in jest. And if y'all y'all old enough and you got you a, a significant other, you walk in there and be like, I don't hear no rock, I don't hear no pa I can't even say it. <laughs> I don't hear no pots rattling up in here. <laughs> don't hear no pots rattling. But uh you might want to duck if you say that. You might want to duck. I don't know how your significant other is, so you might want to duck if you say that. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, let's see. Gonna share this stream uh, with your FP buddy. 
Uh, love from Malaysia. Hey, that's what's up, yo. Appreciate that, Adley. Appreciate that. That's good looking out. Yes, yes. Hey, share it. Anytime anybody want to come through, man, again, we we do. We have some great streams, man. And uh, a lot of times I'll do missions. Um, you know, we'll do some of the different. I've done competitions before, but mainly the missions and stuff. I usually knock off lists, but this was just a chill one. Although I am trying to do the spoon lure one, uh, I really just wanted to chill and, and, and chop it up, you know, with everybody, man. And just catch up. See how everybody was doing, man. See how everybody was doing. <laughs> GB say, that's how you get the snot slapped out of me. <laughs> Look, I hear you, bro. That's why I say you you might want to be playing when you say that. Have your little, little coy smile because depending on the wrong one, yeah, I done had one or two in my life that, yeah, <laughs> something might get thrown at you, so you might want to duck. <sighs> All right, got a nice little large mouth. Oh man, but yeah, yeah. We we've had some really good streams, man. Really good streams. I really enjoy this. It 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 saddens me when I can't get on here and stream as much as I want to, man. Cause it's like just getting up with your friends, man, and and hanging out. You know, it'd be so dope if. If in reality, we could all get up and fish together and hang out at a lake. You know what I mean? If it was, I don't know if y'all ever seen Ready Player One. I don't know how much you gamer, gamer y'all are, but like that movie Ready Player One when everybody in the VR and all that. But it'd be dope if in real life you could get together with the ease of the internet or VR. You know what I mean? I wouldn't even want it to have to be VR. Like if in real life we could just be like, yo, we going to fish. We just catch up at a lake, man. It's just everybody out there casting and, and catching, you know? Like, that'd be so dope. And, you know, if if you're of age or you get got consent from your parents, you know, you, we could crack one, you know? i just leave it at if we of age. We of age. I don't want y'all doing like I did when I was a youngster, you know? I'm from the country, so people start doing things younger than they supposed to, and even though I'm sure they do it in the city, too, but... Where I, where I grew up, you know, there's a lot of places that would sell uh, things to to people who may not have been of age yet of the drinking variety. You know what I mean? But that's that's some country stuff. They don't do that no more. You know, it was a different times, different time. But yeah, especially back playing football and you know stuff like that before the games, or not before the games, after the games. You know, when we go hang out. And then you know it's that store or two that they don't ask no questions. Just whatever you bring to the counter, they'll sell you. You know, we have places like that coming up. So, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, now they 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 hard on them, you know. They hard on them. But back in the day, they like, you you grown enough. If you can go to war, you can, you can have this, you know. You can go fire a rifle and go to some other country. Like, you can, you you man enough to do this or woman enough to do this. But, you know. Times have changed a little bit. Times have changed. <laughs> Brock, you say Australia still does that? Nice. Nice. Well, look, I ain't going to say it ain't a place or two that will still do it. But it's it's far and few in between. You probably got to gotta go out to the deep country for them to do it like they did back in the day. You know? Hey, at Fisher Gang, what's up, Fisher? What's going on? What's going on? You, how goes it? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? How you been? What's good with you? What's hood with you? But yeah, man, it's good, good times, good times. Growing up as a country boy, a city country boy. My grandpeople's like, my grandpops, you know, he was country. Like they grew up in the country. My granddad told me that my granddad had like five, six brothers or something like that. Uh, and one of my grand, uh, say, got to go wife's home food is here. Nice. 
right, GB. Hey, you take it easy, man. I'm going to get up out of here in a minute, man. And again, the more people coming through and holler, man. Good to just see people I ain't talked with in a minute. But yeah, bro, take it easy, man. Appreciate you, G. Uh, but yeah, my grand my grandpa's told me he grew up, you know, he grew up in the country. And um, you know, they was real poor, lots of brothers and sisters. We'll say like 12, 13 brothers and sisters. But uh he had like six, seven brothers. One of his brothers, he said, was so fast, he used to be able to chase down a rabbit. And y'all know how fast rabbits are. One of my great uncles was so fast he could chase a rabbit and catch it with his bare hands. Oh, oh, okay. Um, and I was just like, wow, if they wouldn't have been poor and from the country, if he would have been that fast growing up in the city or really going to school, like they only had like third, fourth grade educations. Like they had to stop, you know, uh, drop out of school and work and help their families. You know, this was post people working for free over here in America. You know what I mean? So he said, I was like, man, he could have been an Olympic runner. You know what I mean? He probably could have been a track star. Like you think the type of stuff that could have. Uh, change his family's life, you know, or or even being some pro football player or something. They they are at the age where you know he wouldn't have been making millions like they do today. But in their day, he probably would have been making fifties, you know, hundreds, thousands, which back then equates to millions. You know, that'd have been dope. Uh, Fisher say thank you. It's a good day. You live in Germany and it's twelve p.m. You bored? Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. Shout out to Germany. Hey, all right, Brock, take it easy, man. Yeah, I'll check you in Discord, man. I'll see you on the later on. Uh, your wife says you so bad, you can blow up a toilet without a bomb. <laughs> I feel you on that, brother. I feel you on that. I ain't much better, so I feel you on that. Yeah, no. You got to go in there and say you might want to light a match. Or don't nobody go in there for 35, 45 minutes. Be careful. Yeah, take it easy, Brock. Peace, blessings, man. Have a good one. Prayers up. There we go. We called it. Hey, that's it, guys. We called it, man. It's been a great stream, and we caught what we were supposed to catch. GB say hit that like button and subscribe. One of the Elite Fishing Planet streamers. Appreciate that, GB. Really appreciate that, man. And shout out to GB. He was sharing spots. My spots weren't working. But we caught this fish. This is what I've been going for. I've, I've tried to catch this one fish for months. Off and on. I ain't just been sitting here. But off and on, I've been trying to catch this same fish. You know, every now and then I come back and just try again. Caught all the other fish on the list, man. So that's what's up, man. We got it. We got it. For sure. Hey, what's up, man? And my son here. What's going on, man? You home? You see the fish? You see the fish? You see the fish? Yeah. See the fishy? Yeah, man. Yep. Say hello. Hello. Say how you doing? How Yeah. Say we about to get up out of here. Yeah. Say that that. <laughs> yeah. You see the fish? Yeah, man. Yeah, you see the fish. Yeah, it's over there. All right, guys. Yeah, hey, appreciate that, Fisher. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I, I was I was blessed with this. Hey, I took it the way it came. You know. Up, oh, my son pressing buttons. Okay, press that. Let me get me a screenshot of that. All right, man. Daddy got to finish up the stream. Okay. Go play. Ooh, go play with your marble run. Marble run. My son be in the marble run. Yeah. I got him some of the blocks so he could put together. Man, he's going to be a little engineer. So he be, he be uh, putting together the pieces, then marble. Like, it's a thing on YouTube with marble runs. And they put together the Lego blocks with the different, you know, ramps and the hills and the marbles go around. So he into that there. But yes, yes, yes. Fisher. Uh, shout out to Germany. Uh, my boy Joe was just here. And uh, prayers up to his his mother. She had passed, but that, she was like a mother. Uh, when I was young and going through some things, she had welcomed me into her house. So he's like my little brother. But she was German. And uh, so I actually used to be around them. I learned a little bit of German. I don't forgot all of it, though. I ain't going to lie. Everything I knew was cuss words. Because uh, <laughs> she was a good lady. She would cuss, too. <laughs> and so, hey, mission accomplished, guys. We did it. We did it. Got that trophy. Walker 3. I the screenshot that there. 
Bam. Bam. We did it, man. This is a dope stream. I'm going to go on and reel this last one in, too. Uh, what's up, Trey? What's good? What's good? You say the best way to catch grass, pickerel, and Lone Star. Oh, just use a spoon, um, a casting spoon. And fish by any of the lily pads. You can fish by that one lily pad beside the bridge. You're going to catch bass or pickerel. You'll catch both. But, yeah, you're going to catch bass or pickerel. Um, but even walk around the lake anywhere there are lots of lily pads, you'll catch pickerels. So, yeah, do that. Do that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh-huh. What you eating? Some candy? Where you get some candy from, man? Oh, Lord. My little boy. But, yeah, guys. But, look. I'm going to reel this one in. And then, like I said, I'm going to wrap it up. We're going to make sure. Yeah, go to my. There you go. And, uh, but, yeah, it's been really, really great. Hey, Trey, you say you got the fire pack, so it's it's light, it's lit or it's light. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Some of that good, good. Oh, and we got another trophy. We doing it big. I might need to keep going, man. I might need to keep going for a minute. Yeah, got that fire pack, that fire fire. That fire fire delish. That good, good. Um... But, yeah, try that, and you'll catch the grass picker. We'll just get you a spoon, a casting spoon, either the gold or the silver. Either one will work, cast anywhere around lily pads and whatnot, and you'll catch those joints there. But, yeah, yeah, man, that was a, a, a real good time in my life. And like I said, I learned a little bit of German. I used to sit around there. They could speak Spanish and German, and they used to talk around me sometimes. I Look, I tell you this story real quick. Uh, Fisher, you say you about to go to sleep. You tired? Have a nice day. Good luck with the fish. All right, for sure, for sure. Uh, the casting spoon is too light for the pack. Um, uh, well, look, it's okay. Oh, you saying it's too light? I got you. Nah, if the casting spoon is too light, that just means it's not gonna throw as far. If it's too too light, when you throw your rod, it won't go anywhere. As long as it goes out at all, if it casts like normally, it'll just cast a little short. You okay? It's okay if it's too light. It won't break or anything. You'll be fine. So, yeah, still use your casting spoon. And then next time you're able to go to the store, buy a heavier casting spoon that'll match the weight of your ride and the lure. Oh, it's too, too light. Okay. Well, yeah, what you're going to have to do, your casting spoon is the main thing you use. Um, I think you could use small minnows. If you're using a uh, a feeder or a, or a match rod, I think small minnows. I would have to look. Um, I, I always use my spoons when I'm catching pickerel. So, yeah, go to the store if you have to and buy a heavier one. And look at that. We're catching these trophies back to back to back. The back to back to back. Hold on. Uh... So, for instance, it, you might already know this if you know this disregard, but if you look at your lure weight and, you know, you want to try to get your spoon. You see the spoon say the weight is half an ounce. As long as your lure weight is in between, like, see, the three-eighths, the three-fourths, you'll probably have to go to the shop and just buy you another one. Or you have a bottom rod that will work. Okay, let me see if pickerels at this. I think pickerels are here. Yeah, yeah, small minnows or shiners. Don't waste no large minnows. They cost too much. Use small minnows or shiners and still throw near those lily pads, and you should be good money, man. You'll catch them. Yeah, just do that there, and you should be fine. Yeah, guys, but look at here, look at here. Yeah, I'm going to have to go on there and wrap it up, wrap it up. I'm going to shut it down. It's been a great stream. Thank you to everybody who has come through. If this is your first stream, hit that like button, subscribe. So you can be notified, hit that notice, you can come back through and you know, you'll know when the next stream is on. But I will be back on again so we can do this one more again. And again, man, hope everybody's doing well. Prayers up, peace and blessings, man. Great to see everybody that stopped through. Again, I really just wanted to jump on today just to, to show my face, just to holler. But we ended up having a, a great stream, man. And I extended it a bit longer than I thought. And that's great, man. That is really, really dope. All right. Uh, every time you throw into the lily pads, you catch bass. 
Okay, we have moved around to a couple of the other spots. Um, if you don't catch it, let me know. Or hit me on one of the, the comments or come back through on the next stream and uh, we'll work it out. I'll go uh, there. If you hadn't caught it yet or hadn't got it consistently, I'll go to Lone Star and I'll show you. We'll do it together, all right? So, yeah, man, wrap it up. I will holler at y'all on the later on, man. Thank you to everybody who came through the stream once again, man. Good to see everybody. Hope your families are healthy and happy. Prayers up, peace and blessings. I will see y'all on the later on, all right? Charles Macro Fish and Planet. Salute to y'all once again, man. Y'all take it easy.